All right, Matt, we're going a little bit off script. We're not going to pick the Thomas Gifford Mike Davis fight. It's way too short of notice with Brock Weaver going out. So we will pick our featured prelim. And listen, this is a banger of a fight. You've got one Florida boy taking on a guy from Texas that trains in one of the Carolinas. You got James the Texecutioner Vic taking on Nico the Hybrid Price. This is such a fun fight for a lot Pretty of different fun, reasons. Man. I'm going to break down one reason, then I'll let you go. So the first thing, you got James Vick, who's on a three-fight losing streak, moving up from 55 to 70. It seems like the natural progression and the right choice for him. But man, this guy just recently lost by knockout again. And usually James Vick has a huge height and reach advantage in lightweight. He's a guy that's six foot three, but in this fight, he's taking on Nico Price, who's six feet tall. As far as height, uh, as far as reach, leg reach and arm reach are concerned, they're pretty much identical, which is surprising. This is a guy in James Vick that also kind of struggles with distance management. He did at 155. At 170, these guys are going to come at you. I think he's going to have problems in this fight. I do too. And here's the thing. James Vick, it's not only his chin isn't great. I don't think I'm breaking any news in saying that. It it's should that, get better at 70. It though. should get better at 70, but that's not even his issue. His issue is like the Luke Rockhold issue. He doesn't have good striking defense in the first place. You'd have a granite chin or a glass chin. If you don't move out of the way of punches, it's going to break eventually. And that's probably James Vick. He leans a lot. He doesn't keep his hands up. If there's a lot of front kicks and leans, and that's about it. Now, Nico Price, he's not in the top 15, but he's one of the more exciting fighters in that division, and he's always going to go out there and put on a show. And he's not afraid to eat a shot to give a shot. And yes, he got knocked out by Jeff Neal in his last fight, but Jeff Neal's one of the better kind of up-and-comers in that division. And he dropped Neal anyways. It was a great fight. So I think Nico Price is going to win probably by TKO in round one or two. Yeah, Nico Price is one of those guys that's just kind of on a hot streak. And even those losses to guys like Vincente Luque, Abdul Razak al Hassan, where is he? And Jeff Neal, I mean, they're, they're tough losses, but you look at the odds, Nico Price, minus 150 favorite, James Vick, plus 130. It's been a while since he's been, you know, a big underdog because he was on a huge streak. I've got Nico Price in this fight as well. It should be a great one. We replace the Gifford Davis fight with this one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You can rip us in the comments if you want. We went hard on Price early. Fight Night Picks, two-minute predictions here on YouTube for UFC Tampa. Let's get into it.